My name is Keith E. Baird, and I'm going to read at least two poems. The first poem that I shall read is entitled Resolution. If I should cease to strive, I would not count the life worth living, and so I strive. Though in the strife, the very life I gain, I'm giving. Thus, in the way I choose, my struggle still maintaining, the life I seem to lose, I am, in truth, regaining. Well, I started to write poetry some, well, I guess I was in my early adulthood. Uh, and so I don't have a nice, neatly collected uh, set of poems. I do have some that have been published. But uh, the sil uh, I have, do have, I have some that I like very much. And I have selected two poems here. Uh, which reflect, one, my personal uh, sense of being and sense of uh, why I do what I do, and another reflecting my perennial interest in and identification with the homeland, Africa. This poem is entitled Eventide Kumasi. Kumasi is a royal city in Ghana. That is where the palace of the Asantehini, the traditional ruler of the Ashanti people of Ghana, has his palace. I had the experience of visiting the Asantehini, Asantehini Prempe, he was at the time. He has passed on. But now, uh, that was in July 16, 1969, so this is a rather early poem. Even tide Kumasi. How suddenly the evening falls at the end of the sun's theophany. Here, where splendor calls to splendor in the myriad modalities of color, shade, and tone to celebrate the wonder that is Africa, tis fitting that even fall be sudden, sudden like the curtain that in its ruffling closure marks the finale, sends the spectators home. In Africa, the evening falls almost silently like a benediction. My grandfather was a very Africa conscious, in fact he was a Garveyite. And he taught me, I was seven, I was seven years old at the time. He taught me that I, if I were asked whether I was English or what, uh, I should say I am African. You know, I am not English, I am African. He said, and he said in Spanish. And that was my first Spanish lesson at that. He said, if somebody asks you, es usted inglés, you'll, re you'll respond, no soy inglés, soy africano. And the sense of Africa has, removed, has remained with me all my life since then. And I've identified with Africa. And also, again, because I started very early having to memorize poetry, I found it a pleasure and not, a, not a, an imposition and I found myself even producing some poetry which at some time, who knows, somebody else might memorize.